In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the VBA image viewer in Excel. Now, I am going to give you a real world example of how you would use it, but this is just a suggestion, not, not the only way. So I have two sheets here. I have my invoice and now I have my stock. My stock is where I'm going to put pictures of my parts that I'm selling. And we would like to, on my invoice, pull up these pictures when you put the start stock number in. So what we've done is I have gone to the developer tab on your workbook. Then you drop down the list arrow below the toolbar. It says insert here. And so then when it comes down, you have the form controls and you have the ActiveX controls. What we're going to do is we're going to select the bottom here, image ActiveX control, insert image. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that. I get a crosshair. I go to where I want the picture. I have two parts in my inventory. I have part one, two, three, and part four, five, six. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go and draw the size of picture that I'd like to have here. When this is done, you need to right click on this box and bring up the properties. Now, the only property that you really care about at this particular time is the picture, picture size mode. And no matter what picture you have, if you, uh, if you don't do this, you'll only get part of the picture. So I'm going to click on this, pick picture side mode, and then picture size mode. And then I'm going to drop down, and I'm going to choose picture size mode stretch. So now I go to select my picture. And if you notice in this properties dialog box, it says picture none. So we click on this. And the dot, dot, dot allows you to bring up pictures. Now, I'm going to just select uh, two pictures that I created off my desktop. So the first one is my, uh, my computer. And so now we have the, um, the picture in our stock list here. Okay, so now we can close this. And now let's put a price in. So the parts, one, two, three. Um, the price is, uh, let's say, $350. Okay, so let's do this again for another piece of equipment I have on my desktop. And it's... It's going to be the part number is 456, and I'm going to go one more time to the insert mode, and I'm going to go to active, uh, active X controls, and I'm going to select my image. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag across here one more time. I'm going to right click this. And I'm going to bring up the properties sheet. I'm going to go and make sure that the picture size is correct. And so I'm going to drop this down and select stretch. And now I'm going to go where it says picture none. I'm going to click on that and bring up the dot, dot, dot and select it from another piece of equipment that I took off my desk. It's, it's bringing up. Uh, the picture where you can select it off your computer. Okay, so now let's close this down and let's say um, this costs $200. Okay, so we have our stock all set here. And now let's go back to the invoice. Now this invoice is just something that I manipulated from one of the templates that are available to you with the, with the templates that are available when you start up uh, Excel. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to put in part, part number one, two, three here. Now, 
on our let's go back to the stock for a second so what i did is i selected my parts all the way down to my price and i've gone to the to the name box and i've named this table parts okay so now when i go to my invoice and i put in one two three and i go um quantity one and then to figure out the unit price what I'm going to do is I'm going to go equals V lookup and I'm going to look up this one, two, three, and I'm going to go, I'm going to be looking in my parts range that I select or that I told them. And it's in the third is the third column. So I'm going to go three, and then I'm going to go um, false for an exact match. And then press enter. And there you go. There you have your uh, unit price by using a VLOOKUP. And your uh, the amount is basically your unit price times the quantity. And it's one here. So you're thinking, well, this is wonderful. Why don't I try doing this with the picture? And so let's do that again and let's see if we can bring it up with, with a VLOOKUP. So we go equal VLOOKUP. And then I go um, one, two, three. And I go uh, parts is my, is my table. And I go, it's the second column. And I would like false for an exact match. And so, is you get a zero. It doesn't know what to bring back. So for the picture viewer to display a picture, it needs to know where the picture goes. So we're back at our invoice here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to insert and I'm gonna go to active X controls and I'm gonna put image viewer here. I'm gonna draw my picture. And then, I'm going to right click on the box and I'm going to go to properties and I am going to make sure that the size is stretch. Now that works fine. So the problem is you don't need to do that uh, three separate times. What you need to do is you can go control C to copy that and we'll go to the next uh, cell. And we'll go control V and I'm going to bring, bring it up a bit. And then control V for the last one. Now, so if we click on, if we click on each of these images, they're all image one. Now let's go back to if we go back to our st our stock here and we right click on these and look at the properties, you see that this first computer is image two and we go to the second one here and we click on properties and it's image three. So now let's look at the code. So what I I've done is I've gone to visual basic and I have gone, uh, insert new module and so now let's look at the the, in, the invoice as i am going through the code so the first thing to note is that sheet one is my stock sheet three is my invoice two okay so i say enter pictures dim r which being r is a row as an integer and for row 17 to 19, I've only got three things on this invoice. Item input equals active cells R2. So that R2, R2 is my part number there. And so the first, the first for R equals 17, so we're looking at the top row here. If the if the input item is one, two, three, then you're going to sheet sheet three, which is your invoice image one which is all they're all image one 
sheet one, image two pictures. And if the input, uh, the part number is 456, then you go and you put in image three. Now it's the same thing for all the way down. Okay, so let's just run this code and, uh, and see how it goes. So there you have the picture of my computer, the picture of my microphone, and the picture of my computer again. So that is how you use the image viewer in a real-time application, in a real-world application. I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.